Hey there YouTubers. All right, Dave Noble here. So we are going to take a look at the Gigabyte H310M S2P motherboard. We're going to see if it's compatible with uh, one of the four 9th gen CPUs that I have. Probably be the i3-9100F uh, or the uh, i3-9100. I'm not sure just yet. So we'll see. And... Uh, Hopefully it'll work. If not, you will be uh, one of the first to know about it. Thanks for checking out the video. All right, so we've got uh, this set up. I'm going to replace the i5-8400 that's in here, put an i3-9100F in. Uh, so let's see here. Let me get the, uh, the other camera going, and let's fire it up. So if this is set up right, we should see something on the uh, the other camera. And uh, the main things to remember that you need at boot up, you've got to have these connectors connected correctly. You've got to have um, don't necessarily need the GPU connected for the uh, for an HN processor for the 9th gen F type we will need it then we need to make sure the RAM seated and voila okay so it took a few reboots but uh, we do have our uh, BIOS has come up so uh, on the other camera we're going to go ahead and look at uh, what the actual BIOS version is and of course, we need a keyboard. All right, mouse is in. And go over to system. Okay, so just like before when I had an, a couple of different H310Ms, uh, but this time, it's the first time I've done S2P. It's BIOS version F3, which is freaking old, 14 months old. June 14, 2018. So the good thing is by doing it this way, I at least can prove that I've got the computer set up, right? Even though it's out of the case. So it does run. So now we just have to replace it with a uh, with the 9th gen chip. All right. So let me, uh, I'm going to go ahead and just boot this, um, shut this down from the power switch. And, uh, then we're going to play, replace the i5. I'm going to unplug the computer from the wall. Okay, so folks, we know that uh, we at least know what we know. I'm going to pause this and take the fan off. All right, so I have a checklist out there that hopefully will help everybody um, troubleshoot these things because there's all kinds of things that can go wrong when you're building these computers some things matter much more than others obviously having ram got to have working ram in there for the f-type you got to have a graphics card and you want to make sure all your other stuff's connected hdmi cables make sure you got a good hdmi cable make sure your monitor's hooked up check out my checklist that I'll have a link down below for you to uh, look at. All right, fire in the hole. So this is the i3-9100F in there. And uh, I've got the other camera recording the screen to see if we get anything. We don't have a hard drive. Okay, boom. I just We just went to the BIOS. And uh, so let me see if it's showing. We go down to easy mode. So in easy mode there, you can see i3-9100F, CPU 3.6 gigahertz. So from this point, I could update the BIOS, and I'll do a separate video on that. But it does, this motherboard does work with an i3-9100F in it. All right, folks, thanks for checking out the video. Keep an eye out for how to update the BIOS. And uh, we have definitely solved another uh, case uh, as far as whether 
this computer will support the i3-9100F. Um, so that is good news to know. So if you're out there, go ahead and uh, if this helped you out, please uh, like the video. Uh, even that, it's always nice to hear comments from people too. So I wouldn't mind those as well. Thanks for checking out the video. Please like, please subscribe.